What is going on, guys? Oregon wins 38-31 in a thriller down in the Palouse. Now, you're probably saying, oh, why are you so pumped up about Wheat and Wazoo? Your team's number two in the country. You should have blew them out of the fucking water, blah, blah, blah. That's true. But we're playing with the patchwork cloak on the offensive line right now. And we are playing on the road at night in what is a semi-hostile environment um, in the Palouse with a team that was out for blood tonight. They were tired of being, you know, discredited or overlooked. They were out to prove a point, and I think they came out and did that. Washington State, I think, is a team to be reckoned with in the upcoming years in the Pac-12, and maybe even this year for some teams. Um, but my team played with pure heart in that game. There wasn't much else we could play with. Our offensive line was getting beat. Gave up six or seven sacks, and like I said, a patchwork quilt um, there with a true freshman and a walk-on playing, and with basically zero depth when it comes to that. But that final drive where we went down the field and scored, and then on that final drive where we went down and clinched the game, they played outstanding. Um, so I hope we get Jake Fisher back for the Arizona game. We have a week and a half to recover for that uh, before we play them on Thursday night at home. But yeah, what what a game. I mean, I think last year's team loses that game. This team, I think, is different, and they proved it today is that was a Stanford type game they got kicked in the mouth and kicked in the mouth consistently you know they had a chance to take control of this game and that Wazoo defense wouldn't let them and their offense kept messing up and Oregon just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and finally broke through and got a score to take the lead and a stop on fourth down and you know, course consecutive drives there, and then ran out the clock and didn't go three and out, which would have been the worst thing you could have done in that situation, but did exactly what they needed to do and held the ball for the entirety of the game. <sighs> Couldn't be more proud of my team. Super excited that we have a bye week now. We've got a week and a half, like I said, to get rested, get recovered, and get healthy for um, Arizona at home. I should be there at that one, so I'll have all the game footage for y'all coming up in the weeks to come but as of right now I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this one I'm gonna I'm just gonna soak it in that we escaped we survived and advanced you know a win is a win in these type of ball games is you're just gonna take it with a grain of salt and just hope that it was an anomaly and leave it at that so as always guys go ducks have a great rest of your weekend and catch y'all on the flip side